go. Why do they make me watch this again? The game said, I hope you didn't forget, you simple soul. The shit bucket. We can't forget the shit bucket. This is going to be so freaking vital later. Thank God they reminded me about that. Oh, I've got a, I've got a knife coming out of my back. I wonder if his... Nope, my, my arm just goes directly through it. I was like, I wonder if they made a walk animation that works so specifically that it can't glitch. I don't think this door is open, right? Did I even check? I don't think I tried to leave last time. But I freaking thought. Why would you try to peephole through it? Just go through the other door. There's nothing in here. Boxes. Does the fact that I can see that this is full of empty nothingness mean that I have to like try to get in there? Ooh, maybe if I had pulled the knife out earlier, I could have used it as a lockpick. I wasted my shot. You guys got any like hairpins in here? No hairpins? Hairpins anyone? Just one singular hairpin maybe underneath the cushions? There's got to be at least like six dollars. Maybe some bus fare? Ah? Okay. Oh, I don't know why they just then decided that I get the death card. I'm pretty sure I stood at that exact moment a second ago. It would have bled out, I think. Yeah, I didn't pull it out because I know like in the real world you're not supposed to do that. But like, what if we could have broken into that storage room and found like a cool thingamabob? Hmm? That could be cool. Death. That takes many forms. It could be change, transition, transformation. Often interpreted as a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it just means death. Okay. I guess this would just show me somebody dying. But I think most of the cards tend to do that. In fact, almost every card. I, I think literally every card has involved somebody dying or getting murdered by one of my own teammates. We simply leave. Now they'll know I've been in here. I've put my bloody hand on everything. Oh, somebody's gonna- Oh, Bobby! I was supposed to let Nick kill you in one cutscene earlier, but I forgot. Hide block door. Oh, the cupboard. Hide in the cupboard. I know where it is. Under the bed? No, there's a shit bucket under there. I'm gonna go in the cabinet because I know it's empty and he probably already looking there, but I think the fact that the bucket wants me to look at it so hard means I probably should be using it, and it must be relevant here. I'm probably supposed to throw it in the dude's face or something. Is this just your bedroom? He locked us in? How did he get in? I thought the door was locked. He just walked right in here. It's okay, Bobby boy. Just take your poop and leave, please. Or unlock the storage room. I don't think it's ever going to be safe to let go of this breath. This minigame is just called Hold Your Breath. Ah! Is it going to do it again? We don't open the door, you frick frack! No, my dude, please! Why am I exiting? Do we assume that Bobby is deaf? Is this the only choice? He's deaf? He's not going to open the cabinet, just stay in the cabinet. Extremely unnecessary! I'm close. Stand by. Are you oh. close? Don't worry, guys. I got him. I swear, he's just beneath my nose. He heard that? Close the door behind you? Oh, okay. It's fine. Don't worry. He might be uninjured and very beefy, but I am frantic. Ah! What am I doing? Knocking this over? Oh, success. I think he can climb over that. I think he can just open the door. Just did, stupid. We come back. We got it. We know what's up. What are you doing? Oh, she shot someone and ran away. How did I get away? Hide, run. I just feel like run has never been the answer. But I don't know where you'd hide. I, I guess just, just hide. Whatever. In the bathtub. I freaking. That's a stupid place to hide. Okay, whatever. Oh, is hide versus run not like a one of these is the right choice, but it's just a do you want to play the breathing game or do you want to play the quick time click button of a game? Like it's just one or the other maybe? I 
I can still hear her breathing. I thought the point of this is that we're not breathing. I can hear you breathing. Yeah, it's weird because I'm still winning the game. Punch her. Okay, then why did you leave? He just walked outside to get a gun and slowly walked back in here. He's very confident in himself. Okay. Just a cutscene to her in three different sprinting locations as if he wasn't following. Nice. She found the Koopa Pocket room. Laura? Oh, nope. It's just this mansion is humongous. And heavily probably been scratched up by werewolves. It is the den of werewolves. I can walk with my own two feet? Sweet. Play the piano. They'll never expect it. I don't think it couldn't possibly be me, because that'd be really a stupid thing to do if I was sprinting and trying to hide, you know? Why would I play this piano? In what world is that a good idea? That's hilarious that they put that in there, though. Is that- that makes no sense to ever do, and there's no possible way which is just like a positive thing for you to do. But they know that so many people who play this game wanna wanna be able to play every piano they ever find in a video game. Ah! Oh, oh fuck, it scared me. It, like panned out to her face for a second there so they're like testing the game with it like i know you want to just freaking do it bears around here there are the spoils the pack is hunting prowess you'd think they want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead mm, definitely dead but was the mother must push the button is the only way how could i just simply not play the piano they put it inside like a, its own spotlight it's too it's too endearing Ah, oh, they've got a lot of them. Wow, somebody is into whatever that word is. That means that you put the dead skin animals onto a, a creature or a doll or whatever. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba doo. A bedroom, what? Oh. And open for me? The interrogation room, classic, everyone has one. Is this the werewolf ancestry? Ancestry? I got family tree. The Hackett family tree has been around for quite some time. The roots run deep in the local area. Let me look at things closer. I feel like there should be a button. It's just called look at things closer, but I can't figure it out, and I've lost it. I mean, the answer seems to be that everybody got murdered besides this one person at some point. And then that person started a whole new tree. Alien Caleb. Good to know. Now I know who the grandparents are. I wouldn't want to miss out on that sweet fact. Five thousand dollars. These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. The white wolf being the hag of Haggett's Creek? The reason they're sticking around and continue being and letting them into the woods is because they're like, as soon as nobody's in the woods, we'll release them to hunt the white wolf, which can only be the hag, right? What else could you possibly be trying to kill here? That's interesting. So they are trying to protect people by, like, putting them in cages normally. Yeah, it's just that they had, like, seven... This, this couple right here had way too many kids and most of them are dead. I just can't see who Chris married. Like, who married him as a werewolf? D does she know he's a werewolf? Was she chill with that? Was this an accepted marriage? I don't know if there was full honesty here. I, for one, would be a little freaked out, but I guess maybe they'd probably kill her if they found out and she said no, so. Huge empty room? The sun? They're really throwing the cards at me. I remember once in the beginning of the game when they, like, made me find them, but nowadays it's just free. Free for the pickings. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions. Your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Okay, if they give me an option between this and death, I'm pretty sure the idea is just like, do you want to see the bad ending or the good ending? Which one do you want to be seeing? Uh, I don't know which one's more helpful. Probably the good ending, maybe? Another one? Hello? Oh god, there's a person there! I did not even see that until the last second. Can I look at it again? Is that a statue? It was down there. Okay, there was an old lady statue. The white wolf is definitely the hag. 
Um, and she made everyone else werewolves, and now they're fighting about it. Or they actually were sisters. What happened? Close the door. Oh, you didn't close the door. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. You could have just shot me in the head and then killed me, actually. So you, you definitely did. Whoa. Ah! He was really far away from a second. I think he was closer to me. So I've been shot. Is it... He's an old man. He's probably pretty fragile. Oh no, he's a werewolf. Okay, never mind. I was thinking it'd be easy to just knock him over once and he's chill, but... I need a new wife, darling. Oh god, that would be so much worse. I think that would have been way worse if he said that. Ah! Oh no, I'm afraid of lamps now. Attack, run. This isn't where he dies. He dies via being attacked by Nick in the cellar. So I- wait, she didn't run! Hey, what's your position? What the frick, girl? What's your position? Ah, we get shot again! Is he hesitating? Oh, she is a werewolf. I forgot about that. What? I'm so confused. I, I asked her to run, I didn't, and then I punched an electrical box. Why have we done this? Oh god, I opened that door. Were they both gonna open anyway? I have made bad things happen. Close your door. Lock yourself back in your room. He's gonna fight no. you! No, 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 wait! No! I lost one. No. Oh. I should have attacked her. What are you doing? Everybody fucking stop right now! Why was he shooting at the roof? I'm so confused. Shoot her. Take her face off. Is he just using this as a test no, to see whether or not Travis crazy. is actually like and part of the squad? He's just too. testing Travis. That was your mom? Wait! I didn't even even run. The options lied to me. And now freaking Jacob's dead. That sucks so bad. Emperor was supposed to die to Nick. That was the whole concept here. Ooh, it's teacher tottering. One of the tarot cards probably had a summary of that guy, of her punching that box and killing Jacob, but... It's fine, we're cool. He's very gracefully following me. He's like freaking Mike Myers. He is silently just following me to the dead end that he knows exists here. A hole in the wall, just my size. This hall was made for me. Oh, great. Is this drywall? He could probably just punch through this, but that's probably fine. <laughs> Luckily, Bobby does not carry guns. I find it interesting that, that he's questioning whether he is or is not in the wall, given that there's nowhere else to go in this room. Obviously, he's in the wall. Jacob died with the same mouth that kissed Emma. Is that poetic? Is that poetic? <laughs> oh, he would have hated that. Stinkers. His worst nightmare be coming true. Also, he's dead, which is probably part of his worst nightmare. I wonder if holding it that whole time and letting go later actually would help me at all. Like, it lets me do it for like twice as long as I needed to there. That sucks, though. I was actually kind of chill with Jacob. Like, I, I liked him, and then I didn't like him, and then I liked him again. He was pretty chill at the end there. I was on the positive side. Oh. Yo, come, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. I'm not a werewolf. No, man. Family first. 
Besides, I'll get in trouble. And this guy's got like a four-year-old mindset. Stab. Him? No, you're gonna lose. Let it. I'm just keep pleading with him. I think we can convince you him. Stole my knife. <gasps> I should have stabbed him instead. Oh, Laura. Laura? Oh no, you've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis. Okay, Bobby is not a werewolf. It's not fully genetic then. They, the other guys were bit on accident. Ryan's super dead now. I'm, I'm bleeding out to death. Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, oh you're gonna have to bite Ryan. No you're gonna have to bite Ryan. We're gonna have to just trust that we can live. I'm so sorry. It's the only way. Bad, huh? I knew that biting people was the only way. Let's go bite. Can we? Can we save Jacob if we bite him? It. Oh, he just got bit. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, now you. It's not your fault. I didn't want to say it. No, <laughs> it's not your fault. Why would I mock her in this time of need? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. Yeah, in fact, I didn't want you to come here. Shouldn't have let you, and come. you refused to not come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Weird how they're suddenly like best friends. Hey, me. Am I dying? Yes. You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Maybe. Wait, does it count if she's not in wearable form? Wait. Like, can she just bite him now? That's Maybe. very unfortunate, because that means well. that she can never bite anyone, even playfully in the future, you know? Ryan, if you let me bite, it's like people you, will just bite each other in defense sometimes. She's just gonna accidentally you, infect people, be infected, even as a person. Which means, which means it will heal. Yeah, but it also means. Yeah, yeah, I got it, big bad wolf. Yeah, you're chilling up to be in a cage once a month, right? Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it, like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... then I, I don't know how Chris. she's gonna stop herself from just eating him. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. I mean, metaphorically, and Max's Ryan has to be the one to kill Mr. H. That's the whole dramatic plotline, right? It was always meant to be him. Werewolf battle. Oh, it's gonna end with a werewolf battle. I live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if you die, we're still gonna try to kill him. So either way, like it's the death's call. happening. For now. So are we doing this or no? Totally. Are we gonna let me do it? That's hilarious. One of the character life and death situation is just whether or not I feel like it. That's funny. Of course, by me, sure. Werewolf, werewolf battle through the death at the end. Do it. Plus, I'm not him. I don't have his emotional connection to Chris. I don't give an F what his feelings are. Just, yeah, let's kill, kill Chris. Uh, I just think that it's stupid if she's able to do this as a person. And if she's not, then she's going to eat him because she has to wait till she becomes a werewolf. She's just going to bite him as a person. Wow, that is extremely contagious. Horrible. Mwah. Kiss him because you feel guilty. She's gonna taste blood and then go completely bonkers and kill him anyway. That's the funny part about this. Can I pull away? Yeah, whatever. She's either gonna eat him or he'll be where I think she's just gonna eat him, but it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, a lot of blood came out. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. I got the other hand feel horrendous. Oh, fuck. Got the achievement for accepting the bite of a werewolf. Okay, what was I supposed to do? Just freaking die? I was trying to go for everyone lives, but we failed. Oop. 
I left no blood on the ground, though. Very good at keeping my tracks up. Life. Animal consequences. Oh, yeah. Dylan and Caitlin are still doing this whole thing. Oh, we gotta go fight the other guy. The other son. It's been years since we've met everyone else. These guys never throw anything out, huh? It's a junkyard. This is where you throw the so, things that are going out. Do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? A tiny well, circle. Most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty front and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Now that I've failed to save everyone, though, our goal has changed. Um, the goal is now only save Dylan. The goal is, as long as Dylan lives, we're chill. Now that the, we're, I'm moving the goalpost because we failed the first one. Would Jacob be a wolf too, or is he dead dead? I'm pretty sure his face got eaten. So unless Nick, who I believe is the one who bit him, um, has a sudden change uh, ability to control himself and didn't eat him, then maybe he's alive, but I think he's dead. <laughs> I think the sequence of event that happened is that I shouldn't have uh, turned off the power and opened the doors, which I chose to do and apparently failed at. And then I should have fought the old man instead of running. To be fair, I didn't even run, so they didn't even let me do what I said. Okay. Oh, I'm Dylan. Interesting. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Okay. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. I just immediately find it. It's on Jake's. It's in Jake's underwear. If, if we're able to get to that, he was carrying it around in his underwear for some reason. So, it sucks that I kept it. Apparently, that was not useful. I thought that was gonna be like a useful thing. I specifically went underwater twice to grab it. This is just a bunch of tires, girl. Can you not craft one? It didn't look like it was a functioning thing. It was just a little metal dude. Maybe you could just make a melon, a little cylinder, real quick. The floodlights are gonna come on over here. Yep, there it is. It's, it's probably fine. This looks promising. There's like a bunch of stuff right here. No? I guess we could just ask the son. I don't remember what his name is. He's only a teenager, right? He's like probably like 16. He's here somewhere. This is his whole workshop. What is he trying to fix this one? Grab the hammer. We'll need this for later. Why did we just click a random button? Cheers, I guess? <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Yeah. Shut up. That's the Let's gate go. that they keep the other guy in when he's a werewolf because he's too stupid to climb. Which is very lucky for everybody else. Can't take the hammer? Come on, we need defense. Is that it is a hammer. It seems like it'd be pretty useful. I'll just get an eyes a uh, bird's eye view. I think this will be useful. You can gaze at the existing werewolf from up here. I just don't know if there's anything silver up here, necessarily. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. The moon? God damn, they planned the moon out. It's crazy. This is a stupid thing to say. They had it all planned out, yeah. They freaking know when the full moon is, and the fact that they're wolves makes them pay attention to that. It's crazy, they planned it out. It's SUV body damage. Keep this off the books. The scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy, to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. Uh, money? Who's T? Mm -hmm. Trevor. Travis. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. You said it. I don't remember the name of the kid, honestly. It's probably the kid, but otherwise, Travis is the other T I know. But I think that the, the girl who's dead's brother's name is sort of the T, right? Kristen, maybe? Can't see anything? Please walk down. Am I walking? I am. Very slowly. 
I mean, they're not trying to make me not go this way, right? Obviously the big door matters, but secrets matter too. Maybe like some barbed wire. Nothingness. It's all decor. The prime real estate is in the back, you see. Seems like a doorway. Oh, frick. I'm going into like doom tunnel. This must be the way. It's like the creepiest option. He just walked in here so chilly. This is a tunnel made out of stacked things that could easily collapse. Caitlin, are you following me? Or am I supposed to be following you? You're following me? Good, good. I'm taking the lead despite the fact that I don't have a gun, but I don't think they're aware that there's probably a werewolf in here, so as long as they're to serve, I guess it's like safe. Thingy. Getting Brian's okay. He knows what he's oh. doing. Probably safer than we are at Yes? Cool. He's physically quite safe right now because he's almost immune to dying. I'm in a car. What? Why did looking- I came up here to look out that fence and think about Ryan. Such a freaking flirt we are. I will admit I haven't actually been trying to ram my face into any vehicles. I kind of assume maybe they'll make it pretty obvious if I were to find the thing we're looking for. It's too darn big. We can escape through this one. Werewolf man, we have been making so much sound. Every light has been turning on periodically. Surely you know we're here. If Tlin gets bit, I wonder if his hand will grow back. It will. That's what I'm saying. We need to purposely bite him. I, I want his hand back. It's really scary that he has to live without it. 